fear tactics every several years. We're right now in the period of vitamin D deficiency fear. And ironically, they are testing on people's blood tests uh, if you have adequate amounts of this particular nutrient, this vitamin. And they're looking for a chemical variety of vitamin D. But lo and behold, they'll never find one naturally in a human being. Even though we have studied, including Hippocrates, vitamin D for millennia practically, uh, we are very, very, very much confused about it in the field of nutritional science. We don't really understand the vehicle of how UV rays turn into D2 and D3 in the body. So the approach that has been consistent with all use of supplementation they throw large amounts of man-made chemical supplements at it. Uh, those of you who have had the opportunity to read my latest book, Supplements Exposed, would know that that would be hazardous for your health and implement you with the possibility of having a wide variety of diseases, including cancer. Our answer to that is we created a life-give, whole food form of vitamin D. It's the only one on the market like itself. They are generally made out of either rancid fish oil, a known carcinogen, or deadly chemicals. Ours is extracted from shiitake mushroom. It's almost counterintuitive to uh, think that a mushroom collects enough vitamin D that we can harvest from it. Well, the truth of the matter is it's one of the great sources is of vitamin D. And so Life Give Sun D is the answer for your supplement. But the real answer has nothing to do with supplements. That we humans have encloistered ourselves within dark dungeons called offices and homes. We hardly ever get outside as three and four generations ago consistently did. Everyone was pretty much agrarian, working on farms. And we cut that off in a very short time when the Industrial Revolution occurred. So what we have to do is get out in the sun with natural fiber clothes, wools and silks and cottons and hemp's and linens, uh, not the man-made fibers that may give you uh, a wide array of diseases if you have those fibers effectively touched by UV rays, but natural fibers. And do this 9 o'clock in the morning and before, no matter where you are in the world, and of course, two hours before sunset at night. Now, we want you to get about 30 minutes of sunlight at minimum five days a week. We'd also, in those areas of the world where it's dark and cloudy and cold for a long period of stretch, encourage you to take Life Give Sunday. Not because Hippocrates makes it, because it's the only legitimate one I know of on the market today.